เดี๋ยวนี้ภาวนารถภาวนอนก็มื่อทำไม่ได้ก็ก็ก็ต้องต้องฟังเทศของลุงตาฮะฟังนางสมาธิแล้วฟังเทศนะฮะต้องทำให้ได้นะแล้วจะทำอะไรชาตินะดูจอแต่เดี๋ยวนี้ฟังเสียงฟังเสียงมันง่ายกว่านะเข้าสู่สมาธิง่ายกว่าเวลาฟังเสียงลงตาฮะไม่ต้องทำพุทโธพุทโธพุทโธฟังแต่เสียงอันเดียวเข้าใจไหมฮะหลวงพ่อก็ทำเหมือนกันสมัยก่อนเมื่อใช้ไม่สงบนะฟังหนึ่งสองสามชั่วโมงฟังเทศลงตาแลใช้มันสงบหลังจากนี้ก็ภาวนาพุทโธพุทโธพุทโธอ่ะมันอยู่ปัญตาดมันไม่รู้กี่ปีบางบางที่ก็หลวงพ่อก็ฟังเทศเทศอันเดียวกันนะสองครั้งสามครั้งนะก็ไม่เปลือกนะก็ฟังในชัยนะในใจก็ไม่เบื่อนะก็มันพุทโธพุทโธอ้อน่าเบื่อไม่น่าเบื่อฮะสนใจในพุทโธพยายามหน่อยนะแล้วก็ไม่มันอยากก็ไม่อยากก็ไม่ต้องไม่เป็นไรก็ต้องคนเราต้องทำอ่ะฮะก็ก็ฟื้นความยากนะแล้วใครก็พูดนะยากยากนะใครพูดนะกิเลสฮะเมื่อเมื่อเมื่อกิเลสขึ้นมาเนี่ยเลยบอกว่าโอ้ยากมากนะฮะบอกว่าไม่ใช่ง่ายง่ายตายพยายามหน่อยนะแล้วแล้วสองคนอันลังนะมันภาวนาใช้สงบบ้างไหมเมื่อใช้สงบแล้วนะเลยเลยอยู่กับพุทโธได้อยู่ประมาณสิบนาทีสิบพันนาทีก็พิจารณาล้างกายหน่อยนะแล้วคนนี้ช่วยช่วยตุยนะเหมือนกันไหมใช้สงบบ้างไหมมันก็พิจารณาร่างกายเราพิจารณาเรื่องชีวิตของเราเนะของเราเกิดมาแล้วเราทำอะไรนะชีวิตของเรานี่มันของเรามันแก่แล้วนะฮะมันทำอะไรตั้งจะเกิดมาฮะทำอะไรบ้างฮะไม่ได้ดูแลร่างกายดูแลร่างกายนะทำงานเพื่อร่างกายเนี่ยเดี๋ยวนี้อยู่ในวัดนี่ก็ทำงานเพื่อเพื่อชิดใจนะทำชิดใจสงบเมื่อชิดใจสงบก็หลังกายไม่เคยมีปัญหานะเดี๋ยวเมื่อชิดใจไม่สงบนะร่างกายจะมีปัญหานะนะนี่ก็น้องห่วงเรื่องร่างกายห่วงเรื่องนี่ห่วงเรื่องมันตายตายไปแล้วจะไปที่ไหนเขาเขาไม่รู้อาจจะไปนรกอาจจะไปสวรรค์อาจจะไปเกิดเป็นเป็นสัตว์ที่รสชาติอาจจะเกิดเป็นเปรตเป็นผีเหรอเขาเขาก็ไม่ทราบนะแต่เมื่อเนี่ยมันเมื่อใช้มันสงบนะของเขาเลือกได้นะในวันตายของเขาเลือกไปทางไหนเพราะว่ามีกรรมหลายกรรมนะฮะของเขาโกทุกทุกเวลาก็มีมีทางเลือกนะไปทางนี้ก็ไปทางนู้นก็ไปทางนั้นนะเข้าใจไหมฮะแต่เมื่อไม่มีสติในในความตายของเขาไม่ได้เลือกเลือกได้นะแต่เมื่อมีสตินะช่วงที่ที่ของเราตายนะก็เลือกได้นะเมื่อเดี๋ยวนี้ก็เลือกได้ก็จะไปทํางานก็ไปที่วัดก็ก็ภาวนาก็ก็ฟังเทศนะเลือกได้ทุกทุกเวลานะเมื่อมีสติในในช่วงที่ตายนะและมันเลือกได้ไปทางไหนเมื่อที่เมื่อที่นิทานที่ที่ที่ลุงตมหาบัวก็เล่าให้ฟังนะพระหนึ่งหนึ่งคนนะตายเพราะว่ามันแลเรียนะแล้วคนนี้ก็มีสติในในช่วงที่ตายนะแล้วสุดท้ายก็เลือกได้ก็กดเชิญหนึ่งคนนะบอกว่าอ๋อนี่เป็นทางสวรรค์นะแล้วนี่ทางนี้ก็ไปไปที่ไหนอ๋อมันไปที่มนุษย์นะ
โอ้ยูน้ำยูน้ำแล้วก็ไปทางโน้นไม่ได้ไม่ได้เลือกไปไปไปทางสว่างนะเลือกไปไปเห็นเห็นผู้หญิงนะหนึ่งคนนะที่กําลังตากน้ำนะแล้วมันมันมันเกือบกอดแล้วนะแล้วลองในลองในท้องเลยนะแล้วเกิดไม่ไม่ไม่เกินไม่เกินสามสามสี่สามสี่วันนะแล้วจําได้ทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างเม่นยำนะเมื่อมีสติก็มีการเลือกเมื่อไม่มีสติกรรมที่ที่ที่ที่ที่หนักที่สุดก็ก็ทำให้เราก็ไปทางนู้นนะเหมือนคนธรรมดานะเข้าใจไหมเอาฝึกสติให้ดีนะนะจะมีสติตลอดเวลานี่เป็นเป็นประกันของเราของเราไม่ต้องเสือประกันชีวิตประกันของเราก็เป็นกรรมและเกณฑ์เป็นสตินะเพราะว่าทุกทุกทุกทุกเวลาก็มีกรรมอยู่นะมีกรรมไปทางนี้มีกรรมไปทางนู้นและมีกรรมไปทางนั้นนะโอเคเข้าใจนะพยายามหน่อยนะไม่ใช่เดินอยู่ไหมเดี๋ยวนี้มันอากาศดีนะไม่ร้อนเท่าไรฮะไม่หนาวเท่าไรฮะภาวนาเดินชงคมนั่งสมาธิฮะและมีคําถามไหมมีไหมเพิ่มภาวนามีปัญหาที่ภาวนาไหมไม่มีแล้วอืมโอเคแล้วเดี๋ยวนี้ฟังภาษาอังกฤษหน่อยดูยังมีคำถามเกี่ยวกับการปฏิบัติ How how is your practice going? Very good. Very good. Yes, yes. Uh, when we start to do the walking meditation properly, it uh, definitely gave me a boost. So I could meditate and move my hours. That it is important. Yeah, I mean, I I myself always used you know walking meditation when the when the mind is really restless. Huh? I mean, because you you have at each time each time you know you 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 go back you know you said just this one path you know I will be with the Buddha yeah and each time you turn around you know you say ah check how 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 was I with the Buddha <laughs> and it is and it is amazing just just this you know just this little walk you know he can't keep with the Buddha all the time yeah ne kid when we come down. Many. <laughs> so that that boosts us, and then afterwards we can sit in samadhi. Because when we sit, we don't have these points where we can push ourselves and say, "Ah, where where have I gone?" Yeah? Because it, 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 you know, it slowly slowly drifts away. The mind drifts away. We get sleepy. You know, we don't notice it. Yeah, and then yeah, and then suddenly you know we are somewhere else. Yeah. And then only twenty, thirty, forty minutes. We are oh, where have I been? Yeah, and then we go back. Yeah? But of course, we can go deeper when we do sitting meditation. Yeah, walking meditation, we can only enter, you know, the the, the state of upachara samadhi. That is already great. Yeah, and, but you have to walk for a while. Yeah, I mean, not only one hour. Yeah, you have to walk two, three, four, five hours. You know, until you get there. Yeah. <clears throat> Some people get faster, other people get slower. Yeah, and then it is fun. Yeah, I mean, you you just sit there, you know, and you see the body walking up and down, and say, "Oh, that's nice." <laughs> <Huh>? <clears throat> But it will take some training. Yeah, and if you, the more effort we put into our practice, you know, the faster we develop. Yeah, I mean, it is with everything. Yeah. <clears throat> If you if you dilly dally around, you know, think a lot, you know, uh, and do a lot, and 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 speak a lot. I mean, our practice is not going very well. Yeah, so speak as little as 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 possible. Yeah, <clears throat> and the best thing, I mean, each one of you, you know, is in a different kuti, so you don't even see the other people. Yeah, so you're you're only by yourself, and you know, and you can put 
most effort, you know, and, and center the center your attention to, towards the heart, you know, where the things arise. Eh? And you see the greed coming up. You see the the <coughs> hate or anger coming up, yeah, and and all these things, yeah, and they have nothing to do with other people, yeah. It just comes there, yeah. <coughs> Because of our, you know, of our dukkha, because of our dissatisfaction. We are dissatisfied with the way, you know, our practice is going. And then we think we need to change the practice. Huh? No, we don't need to change the practice. We need to just to put more attention on our practice. Because the, 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 the thing about the practice, yeah? I mean, the practice of samatha or the calm meditation is very easy. Am I with my Buddha or am I not? Huh? That's all what you need to know. Yeah? And as long as you're with the Buddha, you practice. And if you're not with the Buddha, you don't practice. Yeah? So, I mean, it is not, am I, you know, am I doing the right method? The method is to stick with the Buddha or not to stick with the Buddha. And the same thing, you know, holds and true for the investigation. Yeah? I mean, I, in the beginning, when I sit down, you know, and decide, you know, I want to do investigation of the body for one hour, then I stick with one object. At the beginning, you know, Lunga Mahabhava said, I mean, make a tour of the body, you know, inside or outside, in whatever object, you know, whatever part of the body interests you most. It can be the whole body, it can be part of the body. With this you stick, and then you stick with the rest of the time with this one object. You don't go and then, then look at the next object or look at the next object. The, the important thing about... Um, Investigation of the body, if it is not, you know, general investigation of the body of born, you know, I mean, looking after the body, training the body, you know, working for the body and then dying, if it is really the body investigation externally or internally, we have to visualize it, yeah? So if, for instance, we take the hair of the head, yeah, then we have to visualize the hair of the head. So I, in the beginning, we do the same thing as we do with the Buddha. Ne? Hair of the head, you know, we just say hair, 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 until we slowly get, get a visual image of it. Yeah? Once we get the Im visual image and it is stable, then we can ask the questions. Yeah? I mean, let me look, let me look a little bit closer. Yeah? I mean, let's go with the microscope, you know, and have a look, you know, and have a look at the root of the hair, you know, where does it come from? Huh? And what is beneath the root of the hair, you know, I mean, why, why is it different, you know, and so on and so on. Yeah? And does this, you know, and then, you know, and later on, you know, we, we, um, we investigate the hair of the body, yeah, and then ask the same questions, and then, we can compare, you know, how does it differ? The hair of the body, hair of the head? Yeah? Or also, you know, with the teeth or with, with, the, with the skin, yeah? Well, have a look at the skin, you know, and then, you know, I mean, then slowly, slowly pull it off and then see what is underneath it, or and then see what is underneath that, you know, or, or magnify it, and so on, and so on. Right? But the visual, visualization, for, for most of the people, it is very difficult, yeah? It took me about nine months of hard training, you know, to, to get the first images, yeah? I mean, you can use, you know, I mean, there are some uh, super books, so you can use, you know, use your super books, yeah? Look at an image for five minutes, yeah? And then, you know, close your eyes and, and keep that image, yeah? That is, that is a good training, yeah, of visualization, yeah? It is not the real thing, but, you know, I mean, it helps us, you know, to train visualization. <clears throat> and body investigation is, is, the, is the work, you know, is the work of a monk or is the work of a, <clears throat> of a lay person, you know, who comes here to the monastery. Because we, we, are so, we are so attached to this body. We constantly think, you know, all our life we were attached to this body, yeah? And when this body dies, you know, I mean, we, we want a new body, yeah? yeah? Because we think, you know, this is such a great tool, yeah? So we have to investigate it, yeah? I mean, we have to investigate what goes into the body, you know, it is nice, it is, it is you know, it, it smells fine, you know, and it tastes great, you know, and what comes out, yeah? So this body is nothing else than a chemical factory. This is something we have to realize. Yeah? This is nothing in a chemical factory that turns things into, yeah, into energy yeah, and into waste. Just like you go to the 
that the big power stations, yeah? I mean, yeah? you put something in, you know, you, you, you gain energy and then you have waste, yeah? <clears throat> so what, what, what is it, you know, that we are so attached to this body, yeah? Why are we so attached to this body, yeah? For instance, you know, when we go into samadhi, I mean, the, the body slowly disappears, but we are happy, yeah? So do we need the body for, for our happiness that we are actually, you know, we, we are actually searching for this happiness, huh? All our life we were searching for this happiness. And what did the Kilesas tell us? Ah, if you go to this country, you will find happiness. If you do this, if you have this kind of work, you will, ha you will find happiness. If you have enough money, you will find happiness. And? Uh, did we find it? Huh? Or if you have a beautiful woman, you know, you will find happiness. Huh? And then, you know, after a while, you know, we get bored with these things. Yeah? We don't find happiness in the external things. Yeah? Practice is all about, you know, going back to oneself, you know, and seeing what is going on. Mm -hmm. But for, for, for most of the people, you know, I mean, well, they're afraid of death, yeah? I mean, when we are not born, we are not dying. But when we are born, I mean, death certainly 100% comes. Yeah? But it's not so much the fear of the death itself, it is the fear of the unknown what comes after the death. It's the same fear as what comes next year. Yeah? I mean, do I still have a job? Do I still have money? Do I can feed my family or do, do I can feed myself? Yeah? Or what is going to happen? Yeah? The fear of tomorrow, the fear of the unknown, is that you know, what drives people people really mad. And that's why we developed, over the time, we developed, developed science that can tell us, yeah? Ah, yeah, this might happen, or this might happen, or this is because this happened, that, because that happened, yeah? But still, you know, we still don't know, yeah? <clears throat> and this fear, no matter if it is the fear of death, but it is the fear of the unknown, yeah? And this unknown is always with us, yeah? So we have to, 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 find, uh, to find a way, you know, how, how to be with the unknown and see that there's nothing fearful of that. Yeah? We don't know. I might, I might die tonight, yeah? So what, yeah? And if I'm Buddhist, I know, you know, then I will have another life, yeah? And when I die in the next life, I will have another life. Unless, you know, unless I put, put some effort in it to find a way out, yeah? But that is only Buddhist, and how many Buddhists are in this world, yeah? And how many people believe in this, yeah? How many people believe in karma, yeah? I mean, when, when, we look at one, when we look at the suttas, you know, there's one sutta in the middle line saying, you know, where, where the Lord Buddha talks about karma, yeah? I mean, he says very clearly, you know, if you, if you in this life don't harm any living being, in the next life, when you are born as a human being, you will have a long life. Yeah? So, no matter what we do in this life, you know, I mean, our, our clock is ticking depending on the karma from the previous lives. Yeah? And if we take that as a reassurance, you know, I mean, why should we be afraid of anything? Yeah? Why should we be afraid of that? Yeah? Or why should we be afraid, you know, just like the, the whole world at the moment is afraid of COVID? Yeah? And then, you know, also science tells us, you know, the medical science tells us, some scientists tell us, ah, it's a killer virus, yeah? It kills a lot of people. When I look around, you know, not a lot of people are dying, yeah? Other people say, you know, it, it's, just a, it, it's just a severe flu or a medium severe flu, yeah? Just like what happens every year, yeah? But people are afraid because they don't know. If I catch it, do I die? Am I going to die? Yes, you're going to die. Yeah? But you're do going to die only at the time when your karma is run out for this human life. That's when you're going to die. Yeah? I mean, all, all these signs that we created. Yeah? For instance, and I'm, I mean, the satellites for NASA. NASA yeah? I mean, they're up there, you know, to, to, to see if there are some asteroids or meteorites coming, you know, towards the Earth and hitting the Earth, yeah? I mean, I, I heard about two or three months ago, you know, there was a very, there was a small one, but they didn't see it. 
because it came behind the sun, it became so fast and it was very close to the earth. Yeah? So, I mean, we don't know. We don't know when, it, when it's going to happen. Yeah? We didn't know. I mean, we, 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 we placed with the science, with physical science, yeah, our, our geology, you know, I mean, we placed all these warning stations, you know, for the tsunamis or for the earthquakes. Yeah? So, we know it eight minutes before, you know, or maybe a, a few hours before. But when we look, you know, 2004, you know, I mean, how many people died? Yeah? And was the warning there? Yeah, I mean, part of, in, uh, part of Indonesia, you know, part of Thailand, you know, Phuket, you know, and, and, and part of, uh, of Sri Lanka was devastated. Yeah? And a quarter of a million people died. Or, or then 2000 years after the earthquake, you know, in, 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 uh, at, in Japan, you know, Fukushima, yeah, I mean, can we prevent these things? No. And if, if we would know them, you know, I mean, we could make some precautions, but it's coming too fast. Yeah? But what happened, you know, I mean, in the 18th century, Krakatau exploded, yeah? And it sent, you know, Europe, you know, in, in a cold wave, yeah? I mean, for, for two, two years, you know, I mean, it was lasting for two years, you know, there was no crops, yeah? People were starving and it was extremely cold, yeah? Can we prevent it? No. Yeah. All these things, yeah, we can't prevent it. So let's let's go to the thing that we can change. We cannot change the earth. We cannot change. You know, we cannot prevent. You know, earthquakes to happen. We cannot prevent. You know, uh, um, sickness to come. We cannot prevent all these. But we can prevent. Yeah, something. You know, that happens in our heart. How we react to it, to these things. This is something that we, that we can change, yeah? We can change our fear you know, towards the unknown. We can say, oh, you know, whatever happens, yeah? Because if I have sati in this moment, yeah? If I think about the future that is going to come, yeah? let's say, you know, a world war, the next world war is coming, you know, and I'm in the middle of it, I mean, I, I'm paralyzed. I cannot act, you know, according to what is happening right now. Huh? But, but when I have sati, you know, it is the same thing, you know, when we, in the moment of death, when we have sati, yeah? we can decide which way to go. Yeah? But if I'm afraid of death, you know, I mean, huh? what is going to drive me? My strongest karma. Yeah? It drives me either to hell or in the ghost realm or wherever. Yeah? And maybe sometimes to the heavenly realm. Yeah? But if we have, if we have sati in this moment, when we die, yeah, I mean, we can choose, yeah. Just like, just like the story I just told in, in, in Thai, yeah, there, there, was a <clears throat> there was a monk, you know, who died because of malaria. And this monk, you know, had sati while he was dying, yeah. So when he, when he was, when, when he was dead, you know, I mean, he appeared, you know, somewhere, you know, and uh, then he met an old man and then he asked, you yeah, uh, yeah, huh? and this old man saw him, yeah, and said, ah, if you go this way, you know, this is the way to heaven, yeah? But then, but then this monk said, oh, I'm so thirsty, I'm so thirsty, yeah? yeah? And then he went another way, you know, that led him to the human realm. And then he saw a pregnant woman, you know, just, you know, drawing water from the well, you know? And that, that is the last thing he remembered. The next, you know, a few days later, you know, he was born, you know, but he still remembered his previous life. Yeah? He remembered the Achan that he had, yeah, and, and he always called himself, you know, Atama, you know, that is, that, is a, that is a way, you know, how monks distinguish themselves from lay people, yeah, and, and the parents said, no, you're, you're not, you're not, you're not, yeah, you shouldn't use this word, yeah. <clears throat> But then when he was 11, 12, you know, he talked with his friends, I know, you know, and uh, I mean, his, his teacher didn't live very lo far away, maybe 11 or 12 kilometers, yeah? So he went there, you know, and said, this is my teacher. <laughs> huh? And then, yeah, Lungta, Lungta met him, you know, and uh, asked him about, you know, and how, how do you know? Yeah, I mean, I know him, you know, and then, and then he asked the teacher, do you remember, you know, the monk who died because of malaria? Yeah, yes. So, I mean, we, we can remember, we can, when we have sati, you know, in the moment of death, you know, we can, yeah? <clears throat> we can choose, yeah? And that is very important for us. 
Like we can choose every, every moment of our life, you know? It is, I mean, some people think karma is, 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 a, de is a destiny that goes only one way. Yeah? But karma is not a destiny. Why? I mean, look at ourselves, you know, we suddenly decide, you know, we were in, in the normal world, you know, doing what everybody else was doing, and suddenly we decided to go another way, yeah? Go outside of the world. So, I mean, we had the karma, yeah? Some people don't have that, that karma, you know, but they have other, other karma, yeah? The karma is very important, but it is not fatalistic, yeah? It is at every moment, at every moment, we can choose the way that we go, yeah? And according to Lumpur you know, we have 16 ways, 16 different kinds of karma that we can choose from. But most of the people take the strongest karma. The, it's like a magnet. The strongest, you know, I mean, the, 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 the stronger, you know, our karma is, it is like a magnet, it pulls us in this direction. But we have at every moment, we have 16 different choices. Plus, one choice that is not karma. Otherwise, how could we ever huh, come to this kind of life? How could we ever choose something, you know, that is outside of our karma? That would be impossible, because we could only choose between different, you know, these 16 different kinds of karma that we have. Yeah? So we have one moment, you know, and sometimes, you know, it happens, you know, that we have this free moment, you know, where we are not pulled or where we're not forced by karma, and then we go in a completely new direction that we have never gone before. But when we go in this new direction that we have never gone before, we create new karma that for the next time, you know, comes up, you know, we can choose that, yeah? So don't think about karma to be fatalistic. Huh? But the karma that is, that is in our body, you know, that created this body, body will tell us, you know, with what kind of, you know, when we are going to die, if we are healthy, if we are unhealthy, if we have a lot of sickness, or, yeah, if we have a lot of sickness, or if we have very little sickness, yeah. Because this karma comes from the previous life, yeah. That's why when the Lord Buddha talked about it, you know, somebody who does not take any life, or so does not harm any living being, in his next life, he will have a long life. No matter if there is COVID, or no matter if there is a vulca volcanic eruption, or no matter if there is a tsunami or so, yeah? he will survive. Yeah? Just like, you know, it happened in some of the plane accidents, everybody died except one person. Or in a train accident, you know, I mean, how often does it happen? Yeah? It does happen, yeah? That a certain person, you know, is in where, where everybody else dies, but he survives. Or in the, in the tsunami, in the tsunami, you know, 2004, there were several people, yeah, I mean, who worked, you know, in Phuket, you know, but on that day, they didn't go to Phuket. They don't know why, you know, but they didn't know why. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, mean, I never overslept, but that day I overslept. So, he came three hours later, yeah, and then he saw the devastated yeah, thing. Yeah. So it is, it is karma that prevents us from dying an early death. Yeah. And it is karma yeah, that gives us an early death, yeah, and gives us this, this kind of sickness or that kind of sickness. No matter what science tells us. Yeah. Science tries to explain, and it is helpful for most of the people who don't have, yeah, who don't live a spiritual life. But the moment we understand karma, I mean, we can be free, you know, I mean, we can be free of fear, of the unknown. Because, I mean, in any moment, you know, we have choices, yeah? But when we are afraid of one choice, yeah, then, then we, we force a certain kind of karma, and then we do things that are not, yeah, <clears throat> not opportune for us. And even though we have lots of karma, we have lots of different karma. I mean, the bodily karma is pretty, you know, it's pretty determined, yeah? But we can, we can face, you know, I mean, when I go to the working life, you know, this thing will happen, that thing will happen, yeah? just like I explained, yeah? explained last time. A lot of things will happen, you know, to us at a certain time, yeah? because we call this kind of karma, and that can be predicted, yeah? But 
then we see, you know, because we take a choice and say, oh, let's, let's, uh, let's go this alley, yeah? And then different things will happen. The things that would happen on the main street will not happen on the alley, but the things that will happen in the alley won't happen on the main street, yeah? So we do have these choices, yeah? We, Kama is not fatalistic, you know, a lot of people think, you know, it is fatalistic. Yeah? The only thing, you know, that is pretty much destined is how long this body lives and how much, you know, how, 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 how much sickness or how little sickness, how healthy and how unhealthy it is. If we lose a leg or if we lose our, our you know, hearing or if we lose our sight, that is already pretty much determined and this we cannot evade, yeah. So, for us, you know, the important thing is to stay at this one moment and don't think about the future, yeah? And decide at every moment, you know, what is good now, yeah? What can I do? You know, I have so many choices, yeah? What can I do? Okay, yeah? Okay, I go and practice, yeah? And I go, yeah, or I go and investigate, yeah? And the more we do that, the, the more, yeah? <clears throat> Just like I said the last time, yeah? The more we go the spiritual path, the more open everything that happens is. Yeah? Some people, you know, will have a very hard time in the beginning and then a very, very easy time in the end. Some people will have, you know, due to their karma, a very easy time in the beginning and then suddenly become so hard, so suddenly it becomes so tough, yeah? Because there are so many things, you know, that suddenly, you know, <clears throat> come, come over us, yeah? And then they will give up, yeah? But we should not give up, yeah? We should go through all the difficulties and see that there's one thing, you know, what I, what I used, yeah? And that a German teacher gave me this. Uh, he used to be a Buddhist monk. He said, there's a situation. What can I learn from this situation? Then you turn this around, you know, and then suddenly the situation becomes interesting. But when you think, you know, this situation is oppressing you, then you have no choice, yeah? Then you want to fight it, and that is not, yeah? You should not fight karma, yeah? You should use that karma, you know, and, and develop and develop and gain some wisdom from it, yeah? So what can I learn from it, in, you know, in every kind of situation? Now the sitting is very difficult, so what can I learn from it, yeah? How can I investigate, you know? Or how, how can I, yeah? Most, most of the time, how can I overcome this difficulty, yeah? Okay, I just... Buddha. Okay? One more Buddha. Just one more Buddha. Not one hour, one more Buddha. I can always do one more Buddha. Or I can always do one breath. When this breath is finished, I do one more Buddha. If I say I want to sit another three hours, you know, oh no. Too much. Yeah? But one Buddha, we always can do. So that is, that is how we go through difficult times. Yeah? We, we just say, okay, one more puto, yeah, one more puto, one more puto, yeah. And we are interested in this puto. When this puto ends, another puto. And, and then suddenly two or three hours have passed. Yeah? And, but if you think, you know, after one hour, oh, two more hours, you know, oh, I, I can't take it. But we can always take one more puto. Yeah? We can always take one more breath. Yeah? That, these are some, some of the tricks, you know, I use, you know, also, Another trick I use, you know, I mean, always question, what the hell is going on? Yeah? And then I look, you know, because I'm interested. If I think something is oppressing me, you know, I don't look, you know. But if I ask the question, what is going on? Yeah? Are my hands still there? Yes, they're still there. My body is still there. Yeah? So everything is fine. So what is going on? Huh? Why, why do I have such a difficult time? Yeah? I mean, everything is there. Yeah. So... And then, you know, things becoming interesting. These are some tricks that, that really you can use there. Yeah? Oh, I don't want to sit and practice. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Let's see and what, what is happening. Yeah, what is happening. Yeah? <clears throat> so the main, the, the main purpose, you know, the main purpose here, you know, of this training of the mind, yeah, is yeah, to, to, to really, first of all, get calm. Yeah? Get really calm, get really deep calm, you know, until, you know, until the body starts disappearing. Then our concentration is really good, yeah? And then in the next session we take over, you know, investigation. Then we use the, the concentration that we developed in the Samadhi practice to investigate, yeah? 
part of the body or the whole life or whatever you want, yeah? I mean, in the beginning, of course, you start with the life, you know, from birth to death, yeah? And then you look at all the, all the moments, yeah? And you look at all the work, you know, you look at all the unpleasant situations that you had. And you look at all the pleasant situations that you had. And then you look at the pleasant situations, yeah? And look closer, yeah? Because memory is, is very deceptive, yeah? Because when you look at a pleasant situation, then you see the unpleasantness surrounding it. Ah, so there's not only pure pleasantness, there's always unpleasantness around it. And then you look at a very unpleasant situation, and then you see there's some pleasantness around it. So it is never black or white. Yeah? But we, we believe it is always black and white. Oh, this was so... No! There were so many opportunities, there were so many things happening that we just couldn't see because we only, you know, viewed one way, yeah? We were only tunnel viewed, you know, we're only looking at this, you know. It is like, you know, a tiger is there in front of you, yeah? and you only look at this tiger, you know, and you're, ha, ha, is he going to attack me? You don't look sidewards, you know, and maybe there's something, you know, that can save you, you know? No, you're so, you know, you're so stiff. <clears throat> And that is the same thing, this kind of fear, you know, is, is the same thing for anything, yeah? Or maybe this happens, maybe that happens, you know, or maybe, you know, COVID is going to kill me. Huh? Then we look only at this, you know, and we, 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 we don't see all these other opportunities that we have. Huh? Okay, so, you have any questions? It's enough for today, yeah? May Kau cai bang mai? Fang mai lu luang la. Dia fang, mau fang nai cai, aja kau cai bang na. Pua, cai kau mide pasa dia na. Semai kau, semai kau lu lu pa na, mana ma mian Thai kau yang mai rujuk pasa Thai na. Dia fang, mau mau mau. ลุงจะมาหาบุกก็เทศอยู่ฟังในใจนะแล้วเข้าใจนะพูดเรื่องอะไรแต่มันมันพูดไม่ออกนะแต่ในใจก็เข้าใจอยู่พูดเรื่อง